Do you ever look in the mirror and you're like, oh my goodness, what in the world? If you've ever done that, you're not alone. Probably 99% of us women out there, we go through this. You know, pretty much all women, except for probably that 1% out there who was just given a triple portion of favor when they were born, maybe they don't go through it. But the average woman does not look like a beauty queen every single day. Honestly, are we really trying to look like beauty queens? I just want to look the best that I possibly can for myself at 52 years old. And I don't look in the mirror and see this gray or see my wrinkles and think, oh, I need to improve this for other people. I do this for myself. For me, I don't want to go all gray. For me, no, I don't want to chop off all my hair. So instead of us turning this into a, oh my gosh, I have to color my hair. Or, oh my gosh, I have to style my hair for the day or I'm going to put makeup on or I have to put clothes on. I can't just walk out in society with a robe on all the time, even though I would love to probably live in a robe. Instead of making it a chore and a miserable thing, you know what? I try to look at it differently. I change it around and instead of saying, oh my gosh, I have to do my beauty maintenance routine, turn it into, you know what? I sure am thankful that I get to do my beauty maintenance routine because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that perhaps they're dealing with hair loss. They would love to have the hair to be able to color every few weeks or they would love to be able to afford uh, makeup and skincare, whatever it is. Instead of thinking of the negativity and just continuing day after day looking blah and not enjoying what you see in the mirror maybe you make that change and you do something about it and put a positive spin on it and I think that you will probably start enjoying doing your beauty maintenance I'm gonna turn on my music grab my favorite box of hair coloring I like to listen to a lot of Christian <laughs> rap music or I'll listen to just my soaking worship music and I just make it a little bit more of an enjoyable event so I can do all these little high maintenance things every few weeks every month so that this way the rest of the month I can pretty much be low maintenance and you don't have to have a 5 10 15 20 step skincare routine again do what's best for you not based on everybody else's beauty standards. But if you just want an easy skincare routine that actually will make a difference in your skin, pick your favorite cleanser, maybe your favorite vitamin C serum, or if you don't want to hassle with any of those steps and you just want the easiest one and done skincare step, this is one of my all time favorite products from the brand Dermatology. This has your anti-aging ingredients in it, your antioxidants, it has your moisturizers, and it also has your built-in sunscreen all in one. If you don't have time or if you're just like, no way, I don't want to do the maintenance, but I do want to look the best I can at my age, using a sunscreen is the best thing ever, but not just any sunscreen because I get it. A lot of sunscreens are not comfortable to use and they feel heavy and your face just feels gross and it just doesn't look good. But this isn't just a basic sunscreen. This is a all-in-one skincare in a bottle and it's perfect for someone who is either just like a busy mom or maybe you just don't really enjoy beauty maintenance but you know you want to use something to help your skin to age gracefully you could just use one step and that's it and the other thing I like about this is it's kind of like a really sheer kind of sheer to light uh, foundation so if you don't really like makeup but you do want a little bit of coverage this is actually the foundation that my mom uses so it's her skincare her moisturizer her antioxidants and her very sheer lightweight foundation all in one so don't think you have to have a lot of money or do a bunch of steps to look and feel your best at whatever age you are now back to the hair don't feel like you have to spend a ton of money and invest in that super expensive Dyson I got suckered into all the ads and all of the beauty influencers and oh my gosh their hair looked amazing it might be amazing for some people People, but for me, it's the worst hair device I've ever used in my entire life. My hair is so dried out when I use it. If you have straight hair, then it might work good for you. But I don't know if you noticed my hair in the beginning after I brushed it. I have a lot of wavy hair because I have a lot of gray hair, even though I color it and cover it up. Well, that gray hair is kind of wiry and kinky. If you're dealing with the same thing as me, I'm pretty sure that you're not going to like that Dyson. And seriously, we do not need to spend six hundred dollars on an at-home hair blow dry curling device i just get me a blow dryer off of amazon this is one that i think is fabulous and works just as good as the ones that they use on me at the salon and then i get this super inexpensive curling iron and i don't use this all the time because i don't like to put that much heat on my hair always but this is the one with the longer barrel so if you have a lot of hair long hair like i do getting something like this game changer i can curl my hair in probably three minutes <laughs> and it's good to go. Don't feel like you can only achieve a smooth, beautiful blowout by spending a ton of money and going to the salon. Learn how to do it yourself at home. And the key to doing a beautiful salon blowout is to first clean out all your hair <laughs> in this brush, 
but get a good quality round brush. This is, I think, one of the ceramic or tourmaline ones. And do you see how long this is? Other brushes, they stop about right here. If you're lazy like I am and you just want to knock it out really quickly, get this long brush if you have long hair. Another total game changer. And it's so easy. I just rough blow dry my hair almost to, I'd say, about 70% dry. And then I just section it off. I start at the bottom. I do two or three or four pieces on the bottom. It depends on how thick or thin your hair is. Then I pull out the next couple pieces, blow dry those sections. Then I pull out the top pieces, blow dry those, and then I do the front pieces and blow dry those nice and smooth, and then I'm good to go. And then of course, if I wanna add a little bit of curl to it, I can pop a couple curls in with the curling iron. And if you wanna wear makeup, wear makeup. And if you don't, don't. Do whatever makes you feel the most beautiful. I enjoy wearing a little bit of makeup every single day. I don't like to pile on my makeup every day and look like a total cake face, but I do like to kind of cover any imperfections, blemishes, melasma, and just kind of help enhance what's already there on my face. You know, wearing makeup is personal. Some women feel more beautiful with a full glam, and others feel more beautiful with just very minimal makeup. And some days, I'm not even going anywhere. I just like to play with makeup, and then I wash it all off at the end of the day. And you don't have to buy the most expensive makeup products on the market. Just buy whatever's in your budget. And we don't need to buy 20, 30, 40 different eyeshadow palettes. I mean, I pretty much wear the same shades of eyeshadow. I have a few palettes that are my go-tos. And this one by Kosas, this is one of my go-to eyeshadow palettes. If you like more matte, kind of boring, basic, everyday nudes, but blendable shadows, these are considered clean beauty. I think they're talc-free. But these just blend on my eyes so beautifully. Maybe you enjoy makeup, but you just don't know what you're doing. Don't watch my channel <laughs> for tips. Just kidding. I'm not a makeup artist, but I mean, it's great if you do watch my channel, but just keep in mind that my techniques are probably not techniques that a real makeup artist <laughs> would enjoy. But you can Google and find different makeup techniques that will work for you. And so maybe you have some wrinkles and crinkles on your skin and you feel like, oh, you're just too old to wear makeup or your skin's just not in the right shape to wear makeup. You know, there are little hacks and tips and tricks and things that we can do, like what I'm doing right now, my under eye area is just a little more dry and dehydrated today. So I like to put an oil that's meant for my under eye area. I like to put that under my eyes before I apply my concealer and this helps get rid of any puffiness this will help nourish and soften this under eye area and once this completely soaks in I'll still have this really pretty glow under my eyes and then my concealer just goes on a lot better and maybe you're feeling like your eyes just look a little droopy there's other little tricks like with concealer this is one of my favorite ones from Kosas I will just apply my concealer the way I normally do but right here after I've done my eyeshadow always after I've done my eyeshadow I will take my concealer and I will just kind of draw like a wing I go from the bottom of my lash line up to the tip of my brow tail and this in turn I don't have to waste time doing winged eyeliner or anything like that then I just take a blending sponge and this mirror is, is too zoomed in <laughs> I can't see in it let me get this one but then I just take a blending sponge and I blend that out and then voila this eye is naturally more lifted than this eye is. So if you're not good with eyeshadow, because I'm not the greatest, it's okay. You can fix it in the very end with a concealer. Now, I like to use this one from Kosas because it's it's a medium to full coverage, but it's not a super thick, heavy, dry down concealer and it won't look chalky or get in my wrinkles. I like it because it will keep this area looking nice and moisturized and softened. And as you can see, I put it right over top of that eye oil. If you have mature skin, this is one of my favorite concealers. Ooh, that sun is beaming in <laughs> this window today. There's nothing like finding a good blush. Now, you don't have to use this blush. This is another product from Kosas, by the way. They have a huge sale going on right now. I own one, two, three, four of these blushes because I love them that much. This one right here, if you are just feeling super dull and you want to really brighten up your look, this bright pink one is, it's like a bubblegum pink, it's so pretty. I think today I'm going to use the shade Euphoria. This pretty much knocks out two steps. This is kind of like a blush and a highlighter all in one. And I'm just using a BK Beauty 112 brush. And then I just always tap off any excess. Ooh, that's pretty. 
I love when I find a good makeup product that you don't have to be an expert to apply them. I like the makeup products that really you could do it with your eyes closed <laughs> and it would still look beautiful. Lip products are probably my favorite makeup uh, item to apply. What about you? What is your favorite? Is it eyeshadow, mascara, blush, lipstick, lip gloss? Mine is any type of lip product. That's my absolute fave and a good blush. And I always like to wear a lip liner because this lip is shorter than this lip. And so I like to just kind of draw this one a little bit taller to make them even. I guess it's not 1990s, so we're not going to have a harsh lip line. So we'll just blend that out. And to me, a lipstick, it just takes your look to that next level. And instead of powder, sometimes I'll just take a powder, bronzer, or contour, and then just kind of buff it on my face. This way it kind of helps set my makeup, and it just brings a little bit of life, a little bit of color <laughs> back to my skin, especially if I'm looking really pale. And I don't know about you, but I am a lip gloss lover. There is nothing like putting on a fun lip gloss. Okay, let's be real. Nobody applies their lip gloss like that. That's more like it. So if you're looking in the mirror and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I feel so ugly, you're not ugly, first of all. Try a couple of these little tips and tricks. See if they work for you. Because let me tell you, when you invest a little bit of time and do your own little self-care routine, it just really changes the way you feel. So if you have an hour or so just to spare for yourself, invest in your own little beauty routine. Whatever it is, maybe you just need to do your own manicure or pedicure. Oh, I guess I need to do a manicure <laughs> as I'm mentioning it. Now, again, I'm not an expert by any means, but if you want to see a couple other videos, perhaps you're not sure how to put eyeshadow on hooded eyes, or you want to get an instant facelift with makeup, or perhaps you need some help trying to find what skincare might work best for your skin, I'm going to pop a few other videos up here if you wanted to click on those and check them out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.